We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next Town Hall 11 Cup matchup in the round of eight, the quarterfinals between Queen Walkers, AKA Okie Doki, and Black Magic. Only one of these teams will be moving on to the semi-finals to compete for the $2,500 prize pool. Let's see if Okie Doki, AKA Queen Walkers, are gonna make it through. If you guys missed, ugh, if you guys missed yesterday's episode, with Stars and Klaus getting some OP three stars. Go back and check it out, because it was awesome. Let's see if they can do it again here in this matchup. We got Easy Peasy coming in with the first attack for Queen Walkers here today with a lot of P.E.K.K.A.s, a lot of bowlers. And he already lost the Queen ability early and the Warden about to go to auto ability as well. Ooh, looking a little rough here for Easy Peasy. King popping his ability on the bottom side of the base. P.E.K.K.A.s are taking the jump. Bowlers are following. Queen still is shooting some storages over the wall. Why is that one bowler just hitting a wall, bro? That guy's a dummy. Uh-oh. He might be in trouble here as he already lost all of his abilities, but he does have bat spells. Hold on. I didn't see the bats. Wizard on the right side. We just gotta let these uh, P.E.K.K.A. get a little bit more value. As soon as they distract that wizard tower, maybe we start the bats. Oh. Bats soon? Queen's gonna go down. He's being patient with these bats. Not using them just yet. He's got two freezes, seven bats. When do we send them? Follow me? Well, he send them from the top side, keep those P.E.K.K.A. alive and the Warden. Finally, he sends them. I think he's about 10 seconds late, maybe even more. Warden's dead. He could have saved the Warden if he dropped the bats earlier, but here we go. Only one Wizard Tower to worry about. And we got two freezes. First freeze spell is in. Bats are clumping up on the top side of the base. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Last free spell. Bats going for the wizard tower, and they get it. Oh, now tell me they can get through the Tesla farm, right? Town Hall 11 bats. How much damage do they do? Down goes the bomb tower, the inferno tower. One Tesla, two Tesla, three Tesla, four. That's a three star for Okie Doki to start off this match here in the quarter. Finals. Remember, only eight teams left right now. Queen Walker's competing for a spot in the final four. Nice attack here from Easy Peasy. Pekka gonna beat through the walls. Bats trying to get through the storage. They do take a long time to get through the storage, but the Sneaky Goblin, the Pekka's gonna get that CC building very quickly. GG. Black Magic are in with their first attack, and it's Yuta attacking for Black Magic and not Queen Walkers. But I don't think it's the same Yuda that we're used to seeing on Queen Walkers. This might be a different Yuda. But he's going in with Queen Charge Lalo, just like Yuda normally uses. So I don't know. Did Yuda switch teams? Who knows? Zap spells on the left. Take out a few defenses early. Queen on the bottom side. She's going to walk to the right. Baby Dragon to help funnel over here at 7 o'clock. That Baby Dragon should be able to take out the cannon. So I like that value there. Very good value. Queen gonna step right. There's a Tesla there, but I think she goes inside for the gold storage just like he planned. Then she'll be able to get the multi-targeting Inferno Tower, which is looking great. Cool. We got a Skeleton spell. Still got the Barbarian King to use. One Hound with 22 balloons, but we're gonna use one as a Cocoa Balloon right now. And it finds a bunch of red bombs and the Tornado Trap, okay. Good use of the Coco Loon. That's actually going to save us some time so Queen's not just spinning in circles for like six seconds. Wall break to give her access to that right side compartment. Doesn't really matter if she skips the Town Hall or not. We can always get that later. Town Hall doesn't fight back at Town Hall 11. King on the right side. One more balloon going in. Next wall breaker on the junction. That's going to give Queen access to even more of the base, including the Eagle Artillery. I like that wall break. Oh, that Coco Loon finds another Seeking Air Mine. Bro, this is just looking perfect so far for Yuta of Black Magic. Beanwalkers were able to start with a triple. Looks like Black Magic might be looking pretty good on their first attack as well. King pops his ability. Lalo already moving in through the top side of the base here. Taking out all these defenses. Lava Hound comes out of the defensive clan castle. We go with the poison spell early. Rage up the Lalo. Do we pop the warden ability? Skeleton spells in. He's being patient. Warden's gonna go help the queen now. That's a little awkward. We freeze the enemy heroes. We're still being patient with this warden ability. Need to pop it soon. There it is. 
Skeletons are invincible. The Archer Queen did die, though. Was it a couple balloon drops? I'm not even sure what killed her. King dies on the outside of the base. Queen finally got through all the lava pups. Balloons were getting blown back by the air sweeper super hard, but now they finally get through. With the warden, no more spells. Is it enough to get through the rest of these defenses? Balloons go straight for that air defense. Balloons on the left take out that archer tower. There's not a whole lot of balloons. Uh-oh. This just fizzled out out of nowhere. Bro, it was looking so good. Was the Lalo sloppy? I don't know. 12, 11, 10. Yeah, you just needed those balloons to take out like two or three more defenses, man. It would have been a triple. Rip the homie. Queen and Warden get stuck for so long, and it's just a time fail at 95%. Nice try. Horizon is in with the second attack for Queen Walkers, aka Okie Dokie. Bringing us more zaps, more P.E.K.K.A. And some witches. Okay, so it's just a P.E.K.K.A. smash here. We're going to take out that Inferno Tower. And that's all he gets with the zaps. Just one Inferno Tower. Is it worth it? We'll see. It does set up some pretty nice pathing here. Because we can just skip those two compartments where these storages are. Queen with healers. Warden to help support. They're walking up from the 9 o'clock side of the base. Coco Loon out in front, searching for traps, as usual. And it finds the traps. Nice use of the Coco Bloom. Sneaky's an archer on the top side, able to help start making the funnel. Queen still looking good as she walks up. Here's the first P.E.K.K.A. Bowlers in the clan castle behind. Outside Rage to help us get through the Queen super duper early. Ooh, Archer Queen on offense, taking a lot of damage. We pop Warden ability. She has to fight the Hound. We need to use that poison spell. And we do. Wall break is successful. Where's the king? He's on the top side with the witches behind to help support. Queen has to go to ability early. That's a bit awkward. There's the jump spell to give us access to most of the base. King has to pop his ability. Expo and Tesla is locked onto him. He might die early. Ooh, he finds a tornado trap too. Healers are finally going to start switching. No, they're still on the queen. Oh, those bowlers and P.E.K.K.A. never got a chance to be healed up. One free spell left, and that's all he's got. Horizon might be in trouble. Or can the P.E.K.K.A. and queen just push through the rest of the base? Mm, hard to tell. He snuck in a hog rider there on the right side. Still has three more hogs in the bag. The healers do get the queen back up to full health. Now they're trying to keep that P.E.K.K.A. alive while she's out in front of the queen. This might have a chance. He's using the hogs on the left side of the base. They're going to snipe the cannon. Then they'll be able to get the mortar and the air defense. Ooh, he might still get this. Witch is on the right side. Queen able to get the bomb tower so the witches don't even have to worry about it. <gasps> Hog riders get in there for the air defense. Queen gets the cannon. Queen gets the archer tower. And it's going to be a triple for Horizon. And Okie Doki are two for two. Wow. The P.E.K.K.A. Smash still pulls through, even when things look sketchy. And he's even got a swag freeze spell. Beautiful. Nicely done here from Horizon. Black Magic with her second attack. Some lightning spells in the core. Earthquake. Down goes the left hand multi. Okay. Also gets the sweeper. And some archer towers. And the X-Bow. That was a lot of zaps. A lot of zaps. Finds the Teslas over on the top left side of the base. Golem is in early. Baby Dragon finds traps. Balloons are in for a Tesla. King, Queen, trying to go Sui into this top side of the base. Boom. Okie dokie. <laughs> I keep saying their clan name, even though I'm not trying to. Wallbreaker is in. Might need to pop this King ability. Balloon might be doing a lot of damage. He's not using the poison spell just yet. Pops King ability. King does not take out the enemy Archer Queen. There's the poison spell. Trying to get as much as possible with it. Ooh, queen taking so much damage. She's not even going to get the enemy Queen, is she? Nope. <coughs> Yikers. Enemy Archer Queen stays alive, and we don't have any skeleton spells. We're going to have to rely on the Lava Pups and minions to take her out with a juicy Warden ability. Here we go with the Lalo. Another Lava Hound in the clan castle. We freeze up the enemy Archer Queen. That's our only freeze, and we use it just for the Archer Queen. Wow. But she's dead, so that worked. We haste our way into the single. There's a bunch of traps there, but down goes that Inferno Tower. 
Make our way into the Ego Artillery before it's able to damage those balloons. Perfect. He's executing the Lalo pretty well. This still might triple. Even though the Sui got a little bamboozled. Last Lava Hound's in on the bottom side to try and distract the Wizard Tower. We can pop Warden Ability and that's all we got. When does he pop it? He might try to wait until he's going in toward the Wizard Tower. But he's losing balloons. Ooh. No haste. No freeze. All we got is the Warden Ability. How many balloons are there? It's hard to tell. He's being so patient with this Warden Ability though. Pops it now. Minions in the middle. Find Red Bombs. Find Tornado Traps. Find Air Skellies. Uh oh. Bro, if those minions die, this might be a one star. Oh no, he's got more minions on the right. Okay, down goes the air defense. Oh, there's no more air targeting defenses, but the warden needs to snipe those air skellies. Bro, they're killing all of his balloons. Rip. The air skellies are OP on defense. Oh my gosh, rip this guy. Stars' base is gonna hold. He gets the town hall with the minions. Warden gonna snipe a few more buildings. But it's a huge defense. A second defense in a row for Queen Walkers, and they are looking solid here in this quarterfinals matchup with the $2,500 prize pool in the town. Hall 11 Cup. Nice try to this guy. Little Brava is in with some Queen Charge Miners here at Town Hall 11. Okay. Let's see what he can do. Uh, what's he got up there? Is it a queen with the healers? Yes, gonna fight the enemy king right away. Drop her right into the warden tower, and there's a couple Teslas, and there's traps. Oh gosh. But with the rage spell, with the Coco Loon, she's fine. Alright. Cool. Sneaky goblins to funnel the storage on the right side. They also pull the CC troops. Dragon and Witch coming out of that clan castle. With the poison spell, Queen will take care of those. No worries at all. Need the next rage on the queen. Only got one rage left after that. And then we got two heals for the miners. Rambo the dog is here to say hello. Cute doggy. Queen gets this right side expo and then she should go back to the left, right? Yeah, especially with another Tesla to pull her over there. But man, this is taking forever just for her to get through this top corner of the base. Already down to two minutes on the clock. I think we're gonna try to wall break her in to get the multi and the other two expos as well. Gotta make sure the wall breaker targets the right wall though, since he only has one. If it targets the clan castle wall, he could be in trouble and he won't have access to the multis. Perfect, the wall breaker targets the right wall. He dropped the king somewhere, I think on the right side of the base. Yes. And the miners are going to go in between. He's starting to run really low on time, so he can't wait any longer. Here we go with the miners. With the Grand Warden, they are in. Need the Rage Spell on the Queen. He's not paying attention. She's going to have to go to Ability. She does. She'll get the Expo. She'll get the Air Defense. Miners are in. We go with the first Healing Spell. Queen going to step up. Take out the Multi. We freeze the Multi. The Wizard Tower. That'll keep the healers alive. Might need to pop Warden Ability for the middle of the base here. Oh, perfect timing with the Warden ability just before the bomb tower goes off and before the Ego Artillery shells strike. That was nice. Next healing spell in the core. Don't know if he really needed it there. They're not taking any damage. Probably could have waited another 5 or 10 seconds till we could make our way down to the bottom side here, but that's okay. They're at full health. We're going to rage up the miners, get through the right side storage, get through the Inferno Tower. Oh, there's traps. There's wizard towers. Healers are going to help them out, though. Oh, that healer switch is so nice. Otherwise, I think they all would have died there. Woo, that healer switch might have just helped out a ton. Jeez, GG. Miners take out the wizard tower. He's got it. That's another three star for Okie Dokie. And they are three for three. Black magic in with their second attack. Some lightning spells for the Ego Artillery. With a quake, okay. Down he goes. Wall break into the left side. We got healers, we got super archers. And he's dropping them nice and early on the outside of the base here. Interesting. One healer with them because the mortar was actually doing quite a bit of damage. There goes a the second healer. Super archers are so cool to watch, man. 
They get the Tesla, they get the storage. King dipped back out toward the outside of the base. Giant Bomb did a lot of damage to the archers, but they're okay with the healers. Now they gotta fight the Lava Hound. We got a poison spell, but he doesn't really need it. He can use it for the balloon. Super Archers will make their way inside the base here on the 730 side. Queen with a wall breaker on the south side. We got two more healers. Three more in the clan castle. Dropping some balloons. Dropping the other two healers with the queen as well. She's got five all to herself. But it looks like they're all switching to the archers. That's awkward. Oh, that's actually really awkward. Wall break for the queen. Some of the healers switching back to the queen all of a sudden. Hey yo, but then they go back to the archers. <laughs> the triple switch. Oh no, they keep faking him out. Super Archers might have to beat through a wall here, but they can do it pretty quickly under that Rage spell. And they do. They're through the wall. Queen going for the Warden Tower. She's got two healers, I think. We Rage her up. Use the Poison spell on the enemy King, honestly. Oh, he's not paying attention. Oh, the Poison was late. But it still saves her ability. Look at that. Poison for the King coming in clutch. Super Archers on the top side still getting some good value. We pop Warden ability. Everybody invincible for a few seconds. That's looking decent. Archers get through the expo. They're going to get through that wizard tower. Healers trying to keep them alive. And they will for now. It's looking great. Queen on the outside of the base. 54 seconds. I think this might work out. Archers get through that next wall. Come on. There's only two archers left, huh? That expo is just killing them all. They're all dead. Warden by himself with some healers. Can he at least take out the expo? Queen can reach like everything else. Warden, one more shot. Get the expo, and he does. Warden goes down. Healer's moving across. Queen can reach everything else from the outside of the walls, though, so I think he's got it. Pops Queen ability just to help with time. Get those archers spawned in. 20 seconds. That's all he has. Drop the barb. Drop the goblin. Drop everything, homie. Just get in there. 11, 10, bro. This is going to be a 99%. We saw Queen Walkers get 99% defenses in their last match, and they're gonna do it again. Oh man, rip this guy. The 99% defense, no luck for Black Magic today. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus himself is in with 11 bat spells, eight dragons. Oh geez, what does he have for us? 11 bats, that is a crap ton. All right. He's taking his time, thinking about what he wants to do. Where does he start? Dropped a Barbarian and some Archers for the Mortar. Wallbreaker and King over on the left side of the base. Giant and Queen over on the right side of the base. It's just going to be a big old Dragon spam with Bats for the back end. Here we go with all these Dragons with the Warden from the right side of the base. More Dragons and Balloons inside his clan castle. Just dropping them all in, popping that Warden ability super duper early. All right. Dragons have to fight the enemy queen. They get through her. They have to fight the enemy dragon in the clan castle. They get through it. Klaus getting the spinny wheel of death. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Bro, he's playing with that McDonald's Wi-Fi. Bats are in from the top side. Here we go. He's got so many bats. Two single target in front of towers. Oh, jeez. These bats are just overwhelming the defenses. Look at that. Down goes the eagle. Down goes the expo. Down goes the warden tower, bro. These bats are just wrecking defenses. He's got the Ice Golem to distract the Wizard Tower on the back end. Is this wrecked or what? Come on, bats. Come on, bat. Oh, he let uh, oh, he let some of the bats die there. Not using the free spells. Why is he not using the free spells? Why is he not using the free spells? Um, Klaus? He had two freezes, but he's not using them. Does he still get through it? Oh, there's traps. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know if he does. That dragon gets wrecked. Two balloons sneaking in. We're going to freeze up the Inferno Tower. Come on, come on, balloons. Is that Inferno full health? It is. Oh, gosh. Air defense can reach. Oh, no. Air Defense shoots the Warden. We get through the single. It's so close. But down goes that dragon. Down goes the minion. 
Down goes the other dragon. Oh, bro. Rip, Klaus, gonna fall short at 96%. That ice goal not gonna be able to do anything. Rip. It was a nice try, but not quite gonna work out. Black magic are in yet again. More P.E.K.K.A.s, we got some balloons, some zappy zappy spells for the right side, some zappy zappy spells for the left side. Down go both Inferno Towers. Okay. P.E.K.K.A. Queen. Cool. Is that P.E.K.K.A. really just a set of funnel? I guess. Yeah, it's just gonna be a witch spam here. There's a golem. King's meant to go on the top side. The witch is behind the golem. Warden to help support. Queen gonna catch up with them. Couple of hog riders to snipe the cannon. Okay, that's a nice attention to detail. Balloon for that archer tower, but there's traps. Queen walks the wrong way. Oh, that's awkward. The hogs were late. Queen not going to the core like I think he wanted. Balloon or uh, bowlers coming out of the clan castle. Still got a warden ability to use. No jump spell, but they should be able to beat through the wall here. Might just need to rage him up. Poison spell is in. He's gonna try to not rage. At least not yet. They get through the wall pretty quickly. Queen's still alive on the bottom side. She has to go to ability. Popping king ability on the top side. Still holding on to the warden ability. There goes the rage. Warden ability popped. Giant bowlers making their way in. There's the tornado trap. They need to kill the enemy queen. Oh, all the bowlers are dead. That rage was a little too aggressive as the witches were still fighting the hound. Boom, come on witches, come on warden, get in there. Get in there, queen goes down, king goes down. Witches are fizzling out. Easy peasy, about to get a defense. Yep, all these witches are dead. And okie dokie with another defense and black magic are 0 for 4. Wow. They are struggling against these queen walker bases. Last witch dies. Both expos lock onto the warden. He's dead as heck. Balloons on the top left. They're gonna grab another building or two. Archer might get another building or two. But it's gonna be like an 80% attack. Nice try, but not quite good enough. Stars is in. Ooh. With Queen Charge Lalo, three healers on this one. I like it. Three healers. Not five. He's got two skeleton spells. What's he got? Oh, Skelly Donut first. Going for the Inferno Tower. Going for the Clan Castle building. Come on, come on, come on. Get both. Next invis. He got the multi. He got the CC. Perfect start for stars. Where's he drop the queen? King's in on the right side. Queen on the outside. All right. Three healers on the queen. I like it. King pops his ability. He's going to clear that expo. We wall break the queen into the multi. It's just going to be a small little queen charge with only three healers. But I like the plan. He doesn't have any more wall breakers. So maybe he just wants her to get the multi and that's it. And then everything else she gets is bonus. Unless he really expects her to beat through a, a certain wall. She's gonna have to take some time getting these storages, getting the multi-targeting Inferno down, then she'll have to fight the king with no headhunters. Town Hall 11 does not have headhunters. We might need the rage spell there. Yep, there goes the rage. Queen to fight king. And she gets through him. Perfect. She'll get the warden tower. She'll get the enemy queen. Has to go to ability. Rip. Rip. But we start the Lalo from the south side of the base. Here we go. Queen ends up going for that storage that she can reach. Which way does she go next? Balloons take out the wizard tower. Two hounds on the left side. Queen going toward the outside of the base. All right, that's fine. Let's focus on the Lalo now. We haste our way through. Warden helping the balloons at eight o'clock. We had three lava hounds because he had another one in his clan castle. Nice able to do a small queen charge and still bring three lava hounds that's kind of crazy we freeze we're holding on to this warden ability oh he only got two balloons in that warden ability that's a little rough 
But we still got a Lava Hound up on the top side. Baby Dragon going for the Archer Tower. Balloons, come on, get in there. Get through the rest of these defenses. We get through the Wizard Tower. The Lava Hound's still alive. 40 seconds on the clock. Minions and Puffs doing cleanup on the top side. Archer Queen still making her way around the base. The Warden goes down. But the Balloons sneak their way into the Archer Tower. And it's another triple for Queen Walkers. Another 14-star performance from them. And a beautiful attack from Stars. Look at that. He might just get the thumbnail today. And here we go with the final attack of the match. Black Magic with some more Queen Charge Lalo with a jumping spell. And they get a triple today. They already lost the match, but I hope they get at least one triple here. Let's see. Queen on the right side, Baby Dragon to funnel, healers on the Queen. The outside jumping spell. Very interesting. That'll actually allow her to get the air defense before it has a chance to target healers, so maybe that's actually a really good jump spell. Wall breaker for the king on the south side. Cool. He's gonna go in and take out the other air defense. The rage on this queen is late, so we just go to ability. Healers are in range of the multi. All of a sudden, I uh, think it looks sketchy. She coming back around. We freeze, we rage. She'll take out the multi before fighting the CC. That was actually really well done. Healers are going to stay alive because of that freeze spell. Otherwise, she would have switched targets before the multi was dead and the healers would have died. Archers to help take care of the pups. We pop king ability. He did clear that entire bottom section. It's looking good. But do we expect queen to take the eagle? She's going to have to beat through a wall in order to do so. We go ahead and rage her up aggressively. She'll take out the expo, the enemy queen. I think she can reach the warden tower as well. Yep, she's gonna go all the way over there and then beat for a wall. And we just gotta start the Lalo, honestly. We're gonna rage her up again. Uh, here we go with the Lalo. We're gonna get rid of these Archer Towers to help keep her alive. But this means that we're gonna be going after the Eagle super duper late. I don't know if that's a good plan. Queen's still gonna die to the King anyway, unless we freeze. I think that's a waste of a freeze. He didn't have any more rages to keep her alive. We pop warden ability. We're trying to haste into the multi, but everybody's dodging it. Finally, we get some balloons going for that multi. There's traps there. Eagle's locked onto the last lava hound. We haste our way in. Come on, can he get it? He still might. He's got a lot of balloons. Some of them going into the eagle artillery, but there's air skellies. Uh-oh. But his lava pups are doing a great job of fighting the skellies. Balloons moving through into the top side of the base. Baby archer tower, wizard tower, combo wombo. Doing a lot of damage to his balloons. Oh rip, this might fizzle out right at the end. Warden switches to a gold storage and the archer towers prevail. <gasps> Unless the minions can take him out. Look at that baby archer tower go on the top side, bro. Oh my gosh. That baby archer tower is no joke. Absolutely wrecking everything. And it's a fifth defense for Queen Walkers. Their base is just unstoppable here at Town Hall 11. Unstoppable. This one falls short at 94 and is going to be a victory for Queen Walkers. 14 stars to 10. And we will be seeing them in the semifinals of the Town Hall 11 Cup.